The Tour of the Baton Kill is an epic uh, pro-am and now professional cycling race that is, um, by all accounts, the most popular cycling race in the United States these days. It's a race that captures the essence of Washington County, New York, where we have small villages and rolling countryside and just great scenery and people to support an event like this. We started in 2005 with about 225, 250 competitors from the upstate New York area and uh, it literally doubled in size in terms of racer turnout and popularity every single year since then. The race itself, it's like no other in the United States. It is a lot like some of the races over in Northern Europe. Dirt roads we have, um, it kind of mimics some of the cobblestone uh, races that they have over in Europe, Belgium, France. I think all those elements really wrapped into one. It, it's what people I think in the United States crave at the professional level, the racers themselves. All those guys want to get to Europe and not, not all of them can, but this is, this is kind of the next best thing. They, they want to race the races that are like that here. We have one here now. They crave that. The feedback that I get from the professional team managers is that my guys are talking about it every, every week. We can't wait for next year. When are your dates? You know, where can we stay? They, they love races like this, and, and because it's unique on the, on the United States calendar or the North, North American calendar, they want to compete at races like this, and they, they think that it was just, there's one word, it's epic. It's an exciting time for the Tour of the Baton Kill, where, where the interest is there at the highest levels of the sport. It's great. Um, also, the aspect of having some of the dirt roads in there is something that uh, we don't get to do very often, so it's a lot of fun. This race is famous. It's awesome. And uh, the course is really challenging. So if you do well here, you feel like you really accomplished something. It's a very nice race, good organized. I liked it. Everybody talks about the Baton Kill. Everybody. This is the race to be at, as you can see with the crowd. It's a fantastic race. You know, it's, it's grown every year. It's the best race in the region, man. We uh, professional bike racers, we travel to where the good races are, and I heard this was a good race. The team was doing it, so I asked to, to be included. The community is great. You know, you can see all these people here and uh, nice restaurants to come eat at, so we're happy to be here. And I think the other thing too with the professional teams from a marketing standpoint is that they are excited about our race, they're excited about our communities. The racers love our county and they love our people. And Scott Knightum who won the race on Sunday said that there's, there's no race like this anywhere in the United States and that part of it was because of the people of Washington County. They were great with our children. We have a farm team, you know, a group of youth cyclists. They sat on the front porch of this building and chatted with these kids like they were, you know, on a backyard of a school. It was fantastic and that inspired our kids and you know now our kids are excited about racing even more than they were before. In a small place like Cambridge, New York where it's hard to get people here and we're trying to get people here and it really generates a level of excitement for Washington County. Washington County it is one of the most beautiful places in all of New York State and the Baton Kill is a great opportunity um, for people to learn about the beauty of this county and for the county to have the right kind of growth and attraction and everything else. We're hoping to make it materialize into uh, an event that will bring people from all over the country as it's the biggest race in the United States. Washington County is really known for its agriculture and its history and with the bike race and all the bicycling events that are available around the county it's a nice way to go into the future with something different than just our past. And we have a lot of villages that also the bike race goes through. Our, our hope is that uh, this brings people to not only race in the bike race, but to observe it, watch it, enjoy it, and also at the same time visit our shops and our communities. And uh, tourism uh, is a big part of what we're trying to accomplish in Washington County and this bike race is one of the venues that we hope is going to work to make that a reality for us. An amateur event, mostly an amateur event, uh, even the professional on the professional side can't exist without you know tremendous support from sponsors. On behalf of the uh, 3,000 worldwide employees at Global Foundries, uh, I want to say that we're very happy to be here, happy to be the presenting sponsor. This is a, a fantastic event. 
Uh, it's a beautiful area. I drove over from our new offices uh, at the Luther Forest Technology Campus and it's a fantastic drive. We tried to make sure that these sponsors see a real return on their investment in terms of exposure. We, we try to try to pump up the website as much as we possibly can. We try to get spectators here. We've got an army of people out there trying to generate support in terms of um, exposing the, uh, the sponsorship from each of these sponsors um, at whatever level. It has to be a year-long investment where, where sponsors are continuing to see the exposure that they get out of a race like this. And some of the people that sponsor or that, that support the race live here, which is really important to have people that are local business owners and individuals that support the race here locally that keep on coming back and that hopefully gets translated into more spectators and more, more racers in the future and more exposure for the race. Sitting out here and watching the crowds and watching the professional race on Sunday this year was just uh, really gratifying. I enjoy living in a small town. I enjoy the people that live in a small town, their company and their friendship. It's, that's a real thrill to see my neighbors and friends and business you know, associates out here watching a professional bike race. That's different, that doesn't happen everywhere. It's really well beyond what anybody had thought it would, it would grow to.